Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers and subscribers at the channel, we are a group of law abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen, but not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because it saves lives. That is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives on this channel. We at this channel aid criminals, their financiers, their supporters, enablers and the likes with a passion and we do not want them over here. Yes, let us repeat ourselves. We do not want any criminal supporters over here. Please, we do not want your views your subscriptions, your likes, or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you, the criminal supporters, enablers, financiers, and all the likes, to go to prison or madness. Let's me repeat myself. We are the Jamaica Young Police Channel. We do not want the criminal supporters on their circle over here. We want you to go to prison or modern. Moving on to our video. Yes, as you can see right now, you are looking at the LCD, you will see that, you know, it says diplomatic bro, or row brewing between USA and Jamaica, yes. So, you know, the PMP LGBT plus party urged the Jamaican government to allow Gay, gay diplomat in Jamaica, gay diplomats in Jamaica. Yeah, that means you know, two people of the same sex. You know, um, give them a credit, um, accreditation. But the Jamaican government say no, it's against the law. You know, you know, we can't do that. You know, you understand. So we don't know. So, but we don't know from long time. Say um, the PMP LGBTQ plus party. We know that, you know, from ever since them all yeah, silently, you know. And public, uh, them support the um, the the LG, the you know the PMP. That's why we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel call them the PMP LGBTQ plus party, and the GLP, the GLP LGBTQ plus party because of their policies and how them treat other people. Yes, you understand. You have um, the faces of the PMP LGBTQ plus party like. Um, um, there's a, a former member of parliament who is in the PMP LGBTQ plus party hierarchy. Yes, um, he was, you know, being investigated in time. Um, former Minister of National Security, Dwight Nelson, you know, who's a rear admiral. Yes, he's a rear admiral. And he was killed. Yeah, when I'm, you know, you know the rear admiral thing, or them thing, that them all, yes, killed them lover. And, you know, this politician name, was found in the diary, yeah, in the diary of um, Dwight Nelson, you know, Rear Admiral's son, yeah, and, you know, right now we all look, you know, we all look at the politician and thing, and everybody know him, man, you understand, so that's why the people in my St. Elizabeth, you know, don't have, which we are used to station in silo, them say, no, him can't stay here, so I saw them bring in red man, you understand, but him still, him still a part of the thing, you know, you understand, so, Everybody, you know, so real man, you know, real man, um, real man, them, you know, so real man, um, in them go both ways, you know, you understand, as a real admiral, them say, um, Isaac, I don't know, you know, them say Isaac, um, Isaac, maybe one of them guys, that too, Isaac Buchanan, but, so, yeah, so, you know, the, 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 the PMP LGBTQ+, plus, you know, no, so the first time we know of an openly real admiral was Dr. Peter King, you understand, so, Right now, the PMP LGBTQ plus in you know, a party, them I support and I say, boy, hey, look, I want to forget about God and them thing there, you understand? And I'm on the run thing, so just go on with America and let go the, and let go the rear admiral them in Jamaica. And the government, I say, boy, we can't do that in a car, it's against the law, so we can't break the law. So America will retaliate. So I want you to listen to this, guy, uh, this man here, you, know? you understand? This man is a seven day man. You know? I know, so the first time, to be frank with you, I have a friend and I used to have we is a family and we were like I used to see them like family, you know, or because the way I think of them and you know they would treat me at times. But in the long run I realized it was 
really a one-sided relationship. You know, it wasn't, they understand the respect, the, res- the love that I had for them, they never have that for me because, especially, I mean, I call him name, especially Bobby. Bobby never appreciate me as him friend for telling me the truth. And him locked me off because, him, yeah, him done with me because I was a woman. And the same woman mashed him up on them thing there, you know. And then before him father passed, him father said, I was his best friend. He never had because I am the only person who told him the truth. So you see, sometimes you can't say you're a friend and because you're telling the truth. You know, that's all, that's, you know, your relationship. In. So, yeah, so as me I tell you now with these virgin, you know, I, mean, I used to go, to, you know, I go seven day church with them. A few times on them thing there in South Florida, you understand? And I, that's it, that was the first time I heard that they were going to persecute. Christians, you know, um, with the, Bi- um, the Bible, some things they can't. And I was like, honestly, when I hear that, I used to say, no, man, them things they can't work. What do you mean? And I buy, remember, I say, hey, white man, them, or them bring me with the Bible and them things, you know. And, you know, them I tell you, say, no, this was, them use the Bible and them things, they for enslave our ancestors. Although these are people with mixed people, you know, like me and them things, you know. But me, you know, although they're yeah, them brown and me and them things, you know, you understand. And I tell Mr. Boy, eventually they might try to go out for the Bible. And I say, no, I can't because I'm saying, all right, let's watch because I'm only around things on them, not believing in God. And, you know, Europe are the epicenter of this, as Satan domain. And that's where the Nephilims, the Nephilims, um, you know, were, that's why God um, used this, the flood to get rid of them and them things. So that's why some of them end up in a cave and all them things. You understand? So, who wants to tell you to this brother? Yeah, this pastor man in Jamaica. You watch, you listen, and you decide. Hey friends, greetings. I did a video earlier about this book entitled All Boys Are Not Blue, in which I was warning parents to be careful of books that are given to your children. So someone asked me, is this book in our school? I said, no. They then asked, then why are you talking about it? Now, if you're a parent, you are going to want to hear this. So listen up. A friend of mine called me a few days ago, and she was terrified. Now, I'm a pastor in the Seventh-day Adventist Church. So more time persons are faced with issues. They would call me to talk. No, this lady is not one of my members. She's a friend. We go way back. But she wasn't speaking to me as a friend. She was speaking to me as a pastor because, as I said, she was really terrified. And parents, this is the part I want you to get. I did ask her permission to do this video and she said it was okay as long as I did not call her name or say anything that would identify her son or her. She was going through her son's stuff and she saw a book that wasn't his. So she started going through the pages and she was frightened. When she asked him, where did you get this book? She said she was shocked out of her wits. She said, what was more shocking to her than the person who gave the book to her son was the chapter he was told to read. The chapter is entitled Losing My Virginity Twice. And this is not about a male and a female. This is about two males. Now let me read something from this chapter to show you how disturbing this is. It says here, we cuddled up for a few minutes before I leaned in and we began kissing. This was my actual first time ever kissing a boy as well. I'm not even going to read any more of that. But this troubling part of it, her son that this book was given to is only nine year old. Nine! So my first video wasn't about warning you against what is happening in schools because I've never seen this book in a school. It is to warn you that parents, whenever someone give a book to your child, read it first because there are some sick predators out there who are trying to corrupt your children. Be vigilant. Yeah, so you know, one would talk that um, you know, after that, all these years of mental slavery and physical slavery, torture, terrorism and all of them things, in the 21st century, the world will be, you know, moving into a bit in a direction where the truth is uphold. But why all we can see is the spirit lies, 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 lies. And if you speak against the lies, you are targeted for all kind of things. You understand? Because remember that we are not perfect human beings. You know, we are infallible. So you understand? Because remember the same book that we see this one I talk about. When I say it was the PMP government, you know, and the Ronald Tweet, you know, they weren't trying to the Jamaican for justice. Carolyn Gomes, who was Ronald Tweet's um, cousin, they were trying to inject these things into the curriculum of the Jamaican youth, them. And guess who exposed them? It was the Rasta. And that's one I mean, is why them ate Queen Africa, because them said she was the one who was the, camp, um, the campaigner in chief, and she do all kind of song and. You know, you don't want to sound them, you know, so, you know, positive message all this, coded and them thing. And, you know, the European them say, it was the same Rastas them with topple the South African regime, the apartheid regime. So that's why them say, boy, the only thing 
the only thing you can really stop them on them agenda is music. Because they realize that it no matter how many lies they tell, once the music is there, the music is always going to reach the people. Them. You understand? So that's the message. So they have to attack the music. You understand? So as, as you know, you look right there, you, you know, you can see. Uh, so, so after Jamaica refuses to accredit the same sex spouse of an American diplomat, the PMP LGBTQ plus party urged the Jamaican government to allow the Glade diplomat in Jamaica. And they have released a letter supporting the, the same. You understand? The PMP party had released a letter supporting the same. So we want you to, hey, look, we want you to watch this video. Look at this video. Yeah, it's from a PMP community in Jamaica, in Jamaica, in the Kingston metropolitan area. I know, to be, to be, to be frank, once be a police area. You understand? Yeah. Once be a police here, so oh, if you watch this, you, know, you understand. I saw them do it now, you know. That are in, hey, if you know, if, if you're not police, you will know how you will know how it's part in a unspeak area. This, if you are active police, active detective, so oh, you watch, you listen, you decide. PMP community, listen. When I see them thing I reach behind the zinc fence, and know, say Jamaica gone, you know. Look on them, look at you there. Stand up and watch the whole thing. So what you think them youth that think growing up? It's okay if you dress up like a woman. Look upon them, man. Yeah. You can't tell me say them boy are behind them zinc fence and a real body boy. And that is just the truth. You get me? No garrison. Which is a real garrison do not uphold to these things. And I just saw the thing said. Even America make you know now, once you come from Jamaica, you can't run to them places where you seek asylum through your gear. Because when them check the data, be a body boy live at Jamaica, you know, see where you gone, behind the zinc fence. Yeah, so that is one of the, you know, the PMP community in the Unspear Police area we are used to station back in the days. And you can see that, they say that Jamaica is homophobic and you can see right there that these young men, in the garrison, Kingston 13, parading themselves as straight as being rear admirals. So, them say Jamaica, Jamaicans and Jamaica is a homophobic. Jamaicans are homophobic and Jamaica is a homophobic island. But this is in the garrison, you know, Kingston 13. That's a place where a man kill you just or nothing, you know. Just, you understand? Just for you to enter into the wrong domain. But you have to understand, you know, most of our murderers in Jamaica are gays, and they are rear admiral. Most of our killers, yes, I can tell you that. Top man like Zeke's was a, Zeke's is a rear admiral. Andre Blackman Bryan is a rear admiral. Um, City Puss is a rear admiral. Um, Bulby, Bulby was a rear admiral. Um, Bebe and Montego Bay was a rear, even one time Bebe, the criminal, was them appoint, the PMP appointed him for be, um, for be caretaker in a St. James. A criminal, you know, a man, you know, the man, he was the godfather of scamming. So, we continue the journey. So, as you can see, you know, diplomatic war brewing between USA and Jamaica. So, you know, the PMP LGBTQ plus party urges the Jamaican government to allow gay diplomats in Jamaica. That is dear, and that's how PMP is saying us. So we're just gonna read and let you know what's going on because we are the Jamaica Young Police Channel. We are just here to tell the people the facts, you know. We're not here to hide anything from you and to turn you into the Zambia organic robot. We want to educate you, edify you, inspire you, so that you can open your eyes and see what is going on. You understand? So this is what it's saying you now. Diplomatic tensions emerge as Jamaica denies accreditation to American diplomats, same sex spouse. Same set mean in you know, it can be a man um, in a relationship with an, uh, an ex man, so you don't know them a rear admiral. It can be a woman in a relationship with an ex woman, so them can be a lesbian. And I just saw them go around them thing. I don't know what's the reason for all of it because remember, you know, them, they are the one that impose the Bible on us, our ancestors, you know. So they might tell us, hey, look here. So they, they tell us, no, we're not. So they might God, you know, hey, look here. You see the Bible there with the goon, you know? just forget about it and them thing, and just work with we. And black people, I said, no, we're not working with them, you know, because we work with them a long time and have five, uh, uh, 500 years to keep us in a slavery, so we don't unite with them, we're going to go on. So a diplomatic dispute has been brewing between Washington and Kingston, straining the historically strong ties between the United States and Jamaica. All right, you see, before we even go further, let me tell you this as a Jamaican in America, 
You see, one of the main reasons why Donald Trump did win the presidency, yes, and them, them know, you know the, the Democrats, them know, you know, it's all because of Barack Obama, this LGBTQ plus thing, and it, and then him, and then Barack Obama now, him sanction, him sanction Africa, and black people see it as a spot against them. So that's why the black people then did vote for Donald Trump. That's why they did lose. Donald Trump now because he's a buffoon and all like stupid things and what him do. Him, them never be the black people never have a problem with him and him racist him because at least Donald Trump was a honest racist. He must stay like the rest of them, where them more racist than Donald Trump. They must hate, but them them actions. So you have to respect the man we talk. So that's why a lot of black people love Donald Trump as a racist. Because majority of them, them racist. No matter watch them party. So that's the reason why Donald Trump win. Now, for America go at Jamaica, you know. Jamaica is the capital for Africa. Yeah, uh, or may I say that. The reason be that them thing there. Um, if, you, if you have a converse with people from Africa, in America, anywhere in the world, and you meet them, they will tell us that Jamaica is the capital for Africa. Because every fight for black people uh, um, free themselves in the world, it comes from Jamaica. Without arms, Jamaica use music. That's how Jamaica can use and help free black people. So in America now, going to Jamaica, you are trying to dismantle the capital of Africa. Because they are trying to Africa and Africa and they unite with them and them things. You understand? Nobody has a problem with you and where you want to live. But you can't impose, because Jamaica can't impose them will in America. So why America do that? But the reason, you know, and this now, and the Democratic Party, you know, they might rely upon, say, Donald Trump will get the nomination. So Joe Biden will go win again. This now go sit well with most black people, conscientious black people, because them know it, because them know, say, Saddam and Gomorrah exist, whether or not you want to like it, but we know the truth or the guilty. And we at the Jamaica Young Police and we just here to tell you the truth. And we know them we use economic terrorism and all kind of thing. But you have to understand, God people are all here suffering. You know? That's why black people in a bandage with them all these centuries, because they are God children. And some of them decide so we now go we can't forget we can turn the back on God, because if God turn the back on we where would it be? Because we life or wherever God give it to us. But you don't know. You have two, I did the part along, you have two destinations, you have hell and you have heaven. You don't know some people already, for them destination already, I had the end, you know. Because it's in them genes, them can't get rid of it because I just evil, so that's their destination. So black people don't want to go there, so them thing. The black people say, well, we already in, um, been through hell on earth, so we don't want to go through hell. You understand? We have been through earth, hell on earth, we don't want to go through no more hell and hell. So we got the we got the departure along forever. So some of the, you know say the um, the wicked people then them don't choose this already and them they might tell us oh they might tell us about oh, God have to comply with them because them create God you know yeah them not, they not believe in a God and them fit money are God to them. But on the black people them are attack and them thing they not attack the Arab them you know, one thing with the Arab them you have to give them you have to give them um, you have to give them respect and credit because them no want to get rich like. Oh, other black people are living. Them just want to just live. Them and for them government tell them about Allah and all kind of thing and Muhammad and them thing. And you come to them with your madness. Them will burn down all hell. Yeah, Arab people them will burn down hell. Jamaica now, we got Jamaicans now. We got hell and fine and put AC and cool it. You understand? But hey, me not another road with them. You know, cause me not another hell thing. Me want to even when me dead. Yeah, you understand? So. You know, so at the center of the conflict, Jamaica refusal to grant accreditation to the spouse of an American diplomat, a decision, a decision that can, that could have far-reaching consequences for a diplomatic relationship between two, between the two nations. Jamaica requests the spouse accreditation request. Earlier this year, the United States government formally requested approval from the Jamaican government to extend the diplomatic immunity and privilege to the married partner of a diplomat set to be posted in Jamaica. But why them never do that? Send them out there and them people go to Saudi Arabia. Why Jamaica? Why you choose Jamaica? You know, send them to Saudi Arabia, man. Saudi Arabia, yeah. Send them, because Saudi Arabia have money. Yeah, send them to Jamaica. Because all of them things that they are doing, you know, they're just turning away people towards China, which is a communist country, 
and the communists and eventually the black country they might become communist you understand and the communists them now go you, you understand because look on Vietnam a years Vietnam never deal with America and the people them still live you understand so I will live and see them I try to create a system now named BRICS where they don't want nothing to do with America and see all people all the people them in Kenya politicians in Kenya say boy hey at time we get rid of the American dollar and them are it's a big campaign worldwide against the American currency, you know. Because America is the most hated country in the world, you know, because of its colonialism, a colonized other people and them thing and people you know, that they are racist. So although the people and the same people where they are racist, they might go towards people who are even worse, you know, but they must say, boy, look, I rather for choose I rather I rather for choose the enemy of my enemy. You understand? So most of the country them in the world, see America and Europe as them enemy. So them say, boy, we rather have to be friends with for them enemy, that are China and Russia. You understand? So that's how it is. That's why even at the war of Ukraine, Africa support Russia for invade Ukraine. Whenever never used to happen because of the hatred to the West. Because them say, boy, the West is the manufacturer of uh, lies and all them things. I just saw it go. I just, I, I just saw it go. You understand? So we we'll continue the journey. You know, so why well, I may I tell you? So in Jamaica now, the diplomat and their partner are in same-sex relationship, which has added complexity to the situation since same-sex marriage is not recognized in Jamaica. So Jamaica no, don't recognize two men or two women are married. Cause I law at Jamaica. So you have to respect the Jamaican law. You understand? You know? It, Cause America is not God. America, the country of the United is not God. God is the supreme beam of all. Everybody we have pushed this uh, push this and all, do all kind of wickedness. The, all of the wicked people them have done all kind of evil to my ancestors and other people. The whole of them dead. So no cure man I go on him can't do more in time. Them still are dead the same way. You understand? But as usual, you know, so the PMP LGBTQ plus party them support this. You understand? And the GLP LGBTQ plus party said, Yeah, we can't do it in a car, we don't have a lot of our books to do that and them thing. So, you understand? You have to go make that the man uh, the other the, the other man or the other woman who married to the same, the same sex person. Better you just make them become a diplomat then and make them have this you understand. Or you, you know how to sort look. You understand? So So sources indicated that the Jamaican government should have responded more promptly to the initial request made by the United States. Frustrated by the lack of timely response. American officials sent another diplomatic note urging a swift reply. In this, in a disappointing turn of events, the Jamaican government eventually regret, rejected the United States regret, uh, request. So, boy, hey, I forget this government uh, props, you know, because they follow the law. You understand? Because, hey, Andrew Olness knew, you know, them know so in a Jamaica as much as you see the boy, them in a PMP community and them thing there. In a, in, a, in a two mile, you saw them, you understand? Them things are not acceptable in a Jamaican society, you understand? But see, them, it's been normalized now because people see it as a joke, you know? You understand? And some of eh, most like serial killers them in a Jamaica are, are, them are rear admirals. Yes, rear admirals, most of them. I'm telling you that the grumpy. Grumpy was a labor right, him a rear admiral. Hey, then the man raped people before him shoot them in the back of them head, you know? Rape the man, you know? Yeah, one labor right brother named Grumpy. You understand? Uh, um, Fogarty, Fogarty did it dust him out down a coronation market. You understand? Uh, Fogarty did it. Well, yeah, I just saw it go. And then, you know, say a majority of them now, the boy named Christopher Brown from Payne Avenue, the serial killer, too, him was a rear admiral. When him did him dead on with a pampas, him stink like a pig. Because him, him did. Because in time, him have to wear pampas and them thing, they them all of the. The sensation from them rectum gone, so them can't feel anything when a time for them go release himself. Cause you know, just like how we were, you know, our thing intact and thing there, and a man you want for, you know, more time, you, you, you have that urge, you understand, and it's like it come like your mind and it all work together, and as you reach all the toilet and them thing there, you understand, for you sit down, it, so, but them now, them can't feel nothing, you just come, so them have to wear pampas. And, some of them have plugged. I don't know. I just saw for them thing of virgin, you know. So, yeah, me know said this must be disturbing to some people if you listen, but it's just a part of life, you know. I twenty first century and things that was taboo, yeah, not, not anymore, yeah. 
you understand so yeah so so according to the senior government government source who spoke to you know one of the um, to read of Jamaica approving the request would require Jamaica to acknowledge same-sex marriages which mean which remains illegal within the country's legal framework this refusal by Jamaican government has triggered a series of retaliatory measures from the United States. Caribbean National Weekly efforts to contact Oliver Muir, Jamaican Council General in Miami, have proved futile as there has been no response regarding their position. Retaliatory measures, United States revoked visa of Jamaican diplomats, reliable sources reveal that the United States in response rejected separate requests from Jamaica to extend the stay of three di diplomats stationed at the Jamaican Embassy and Consulate within the United States. Consequently, these, these diplomats have been instructed to leave the country immediately following the expiration of their five-year diplomatic visa. So now America turned on its friends because of this um, gay agenda. Entire friends and your friends become enemy. It's hard for that relationship come back. So America, America and Jamaica always have a close relationship. So this now is like communism now reads Jamaica fascism. So this move diverges from the e existing practices where extension to diplomatic visas for Jamaican diplomat beyond five years are typically granted as routine matter. Among those directly impacted by this decision, are R.J. Marks, Jamaica's ambassador to the United States, and Oliver Mayer, the Consul General based in Miami. American authorities have instructed both officials to return to Jamaica within the current year. Uncertain futures, tension, threatened diplomatic relationship between the U.S. and Jamaica. So America, this because of gay business now, America threatened um, um, Jamaica. Why? At present, it remains uncertain what further diplomatic measures, if any, the United States government might take against Jamaica due to the de denial of diplomatic immunity to dispose of one of its diplomats. The ongoing disagreement has the potential to strain relationship between the two nations, raising concern about the future of their diplomatic partnership. So this is where the PMP come in on, you know, so the PMP release a letter now, yeah, the PMP release their letter now, they say, the PMP urges the government of Jamaica to allow gay diplomats so it will come from all over world St. Andrew on July 17 so the People's National Party is highly concerned about the threat to gay rights caused by the diplomatic standoff that has now emerged between the Andrew Oldness led government and the Jamaica and United States of America the PMP is concerned that the refusal of the Jamaican government to recognize same-sex marital status that a marriage for you you know slow one of the US diplomat could spell economic disaster brought on by sanction that our economy cannot manage. The arrogance and bigoted stance of the JLP administration files flies in the face of our national motto, out of many, one people, wicked. And that the PMP LGBTQ plus party, I tell you say that, you understand. So further it's threatened to affect Jamaicans ability to conduct small diplomatic relationship with the USA. A long-standing Fred trade partner and host to many Jamaicans in the diaspora. Already we are seeing where two senior Jamaican diplomats in the United States are on borrowed time. That's how a PMP saying that the PMP recalls the diplomatic role spot by the by the then Golden Administration from the US you, from, with the US from 20, 2009 to 2011 over extradition of Christopher Dodo's court and it sees, seems as if nothing have, have been learned from the episode. Jamaica is heading down the same part again under Mr. Olness. The PMP is warning that revoc revocation of US visa will likely be the next step that will affect hundreds of thousands of Jamaicans who would have no issue with their government allowing gay diplomats to work, reside and live freely here in Jamaica. As a party, the PMP LGBTQ plus party embraces inclusive, inclusiveness. The PMP wishes to place on the record that it would not have allowed a stalemate of this nature to come between the J Jamaica and the USAA. 
Therefore, I, I, therefore, the PMP is urging Prime Minister Andrew Olness to intervene with urgency and allow the American diplomat to stay in Jamaica and allow the diplomat to have his husband or his wife. Because if he's a man married to a man, the man is a husband, and if he's a woman married to a woman, the other woman, so it's two wives. So I just saw it though. We are the Jamaica Young Police Channel. You know, we're just watching what's going on. We know that we're in the end of time. And we know some people don't care because it's all about, yeah, them say, yeah, I just freedom and no God no day and them thing. Now we are the Jamaica Young Police Channel. We don't subscribe to that because we know that there's a higher being. Because we could not just emerge here just like that. So have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica, Young Police Channel, out.